One of the main things you need to know how to do successfully as a driver is to pull over to the side of the road without hitting the curb. That's what we'll talk about in this video. When I ask students to pull over for the first time, there is a few things that can happen. So I'll show you each one of them. The first thing that can happen is they pull beside the curb and they stop kind of far from the curb. And it's partly because they're afraid of hitting the curb. So then I usually ask, they kind of put the car into park and pull up the parking brake. And then they look at me like, is that good? And I ask them, is this a good distance? And they either don't know how to gauge it or they look into the side mirror and realize, oh, they've parked really far from the curb. So let me show you what that looks like from the driver's point of view. So when we first pull over, the students either don't know where to look to be able to tell how far they are from the curb. So they're looking in front of them and going, I think I'm a good distance away from the curb, I'm not sure. Or they will look into their side mirror here, and this is my point of view as a driver, and then they realize, oh, I think that's a pretty far distance from the curb. And then from that point on, we either pull forward and try to adjust a bit further. Or the other thing that can happen is the students come in towards the curb and they end up bringing the car really close to the curb. And then I sometimes have to brake for them. And then they're a little bit shocked. And they're like, why did we stop? I'm like, because you were just about to hit the curb. And they're like, really? Because when I look into the side mirror, I look pretty far away from the curb. So let me show you what that looks like from the driver's point of view. So they'll come in like so, but then they were trying to use the side mirror here to gauge their distance from the curb. And they're like, well, it's really far. What do you mean that I was about to hit the curb? What they don't realize is that this mirror will only tell you the truth if your car is parallel with the curb. So if we were to step outside of the car right now, and if I were to look from this side of the car, you can see that we're very close to the curb. But if I look into the side mirror as the driver, you will see that it shows this distance here, which is pretty far from the curb. So usually after I tell them that this mirror can only tell you when you're parallel, or when I tell them that you're too close to the curb, the next thing that happens is we'll try to come up beside the curb again. And this time they're like, okay, I'll get very close and then I'll move my car away from the curb. And they stop the car and they look into that side mirror and they're like, yeah, this looks good now. And I tell them to look in front of them and they look in front of them and they're like, what's wrong? Tell them, are we parallel? And they're like, I'm not sure whether we're parallel or not. So I tell them, if I were to draw an imaginary line from the center of your console, which way does the car or that line go as it goes out away from your car? And sometimes they tell me, oh, it'll go straight. And if that's what they think, then I tell them to straighten out the wheel and I tell them to take their foot off the brake and just let the car roll and see which way do we move towards. And usually at that point they realize okay, we are a bit slanted. So those are the kind of mistakes that we run into when we're first calibrating this curb. Now, what usually you need to do the very first time you're pulling up beside the curb is if you're afraid of hitting the wheel to the curb, that's okay. Pull up beside the curb as close as you think you can get it. And if it looks like this, if I start off like this for the very first time when I'm pulling up beside the curb. What I can do now is ever so slightly turn the steering wheel over to the right as I'm moving towards the curb. So let me just show you what that looks like. I'm gonna move the car towards the curb. And once I feel like that tire is close enough, I steer over to the left so that the back wheels of the car have a chance to follow through on the same path. And then I look into the side mirror to see if I'm parallel. I can see the body of the car is parallel with that curb. And that's when I want to straighten out the wheel and move forward if I need to. Let me demonstrate that one more time. If I'm pulling over to the side of the road, 
I am moving my steering wheel to the right, there's gonna come a point where I feel like I've gotten close enough to that curb. That's when I need to start steering over to the left. And I start slowly straightening out the car back to center. And to show you what that looks like from the outside, So right now I'm a good distance from the curb. Let's say this is the first time when you've managed to pull over to the side being a good distance from the curb. And you'll know this when you look into your side mirror here and you see this. It almost seems like I'm sitting on top of the curb. But in reality, if I were to get out of the car, you would notice that the car is a little bit pear-shaped. So even though it looked like the body of my car was sitting on the curb from the mirror point of view. When I look from this angle here, you can see because the car is a bit pear-shaped, it gives the impression that I'm, you know, the car is actually sitting on the curb, but it's actually not when you look from the outside. Now you might think, wow, this is a lot of hassle. How do I get this right every time? It looks like it might be a bit hit and miss, but once you've got it perfect at the first time or the very first time that you're happy with your distance from the curb, look over in front of you when you're seated in the driver's seat and look to see where the straight edge of that curb runs towards your car and see where it intersects the dashboard in your car. So for me, from the driver's point of view, it's hitting the dashboard right about here. So I would find something to mark that with maybe you could put a little sticker there maybe you can find something on your wipers there that you're like yep it's it's always at that notch whatever the case may be and you want to remember that place so that the next time you're pulling over you can use that as a reference point so if i were to move from here and see if i can use the same reference point as I'm coming over to the side of the road. So now that I'm going towards the curb, you can see what it looks like from my point of view. And just when I get to that reference point, I'm going to start straightening out the car over to the left. And I want to stop when I'm parallel with the curb. And I can now use this reference point every time that I drive.